Hi everyone. So I was reading this article uh, yesterday and I thought I make a quick video because they did a very good job of listing every Raspberry Pi model and they explained the different uh, series and products. So I'm going to give a quick summary. Then I will link the article in the description of this video because I encourage you to read it for yourself. But to summarize here, you have uh, the few lines of products. Uh, the first one is the flagship. This is the main one that we usually know. Uh, the latest in this uh, series or the series of product is the Raspberry Pi, and that's the one we really know it. Uh, we have also the Zero. This is similar to the flagship. They both run a Linux opera operating system. They do have pins and ports. Obviously, the Zero is the more uh, cheaper version of the flagship. So this is more affordable. Uh, you have the compute model series. These are more for like <clears throat> embedded applications and for uh, industrial. So they don't come with pins usually and there are no ports. So it depends on your use case. These might be uh, helpful, especially if you want to cut cost and still get that full uh, flagship power, let's say. And then obviously they have the Pico, which is the microcontroller version of the Raspberry Pi, and that would be similar to the Arduino. Down here, they do list every uh, release of each one of those uh, series. So this is the flagship series over here, and they highlight that there is Model A and Model B. The Model B indicate that there is an Ethernet port. The Model A usually indicate a lower cost model, and uh, usually no Ethernet port. So this is a list of every single model on the flagship. Again, I'm not going to read every piece of the article. I will link it and I will let you do that for yourself. So um, I'm going to scroll down over here and next we're going to get to, so this is the latest one, is the Raspberry Pi 5 and that's the one we really know and usually the most common uh, Raspberry Pi that we work with. Um, down here is the Zero series. Again, this is just similar to the flagship, but like more simpler, smaller, obviously less powerful, but it consumes also less power. It's cheaper, usually a very good deal. It comes with minimal ports and some pins. Sometimes it comes pre-soldered. Sometimes you have to solder yourself. A very common one is the Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, the 0W, the 0WH, you see this one comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Here you have the pins pre-soldered, or you can solder the, the pins yourself. You can see here the Raspberry Pi 02 is the latest model here. Um, you have the compute model series. These are, like I mentioned, for like embedded applications, things like that. As you can see, there are no ports, no pins. So uh, those are, they usually have a different use case. They're not very common if you are just like a hobbyist. So uh, this looks like the latest one, the Raspberry Pi Compute Model 4. And I'm going to keep scrolling here because I just want to give a quick summary in this video and I will uh, have you uh, have the article linked for you in the description. This is the Pico microcontroller. So if you know an Arduino, the best way I can explain the Pico model is this is the similar to the Arduino. The other models, every other model we talked about, they run Linux. This one does not. So this one doesn't have the ports, doesn't have like the way, you know, with the other models, you can connect a display, you can connect like a keyboard and mouse, and you have a full-fledged operating system. This one does not. Now, you can still use the Arduino IDE with the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico model, and that one is more of a microcontroller style. It's very common also. I highly recommend you try it if you have not uh, already. Usually very cheap. Uh, the latest one over here is the Raspberry Pi Pico 2. And it's very powerful microcontroller, usually very affordable. I highly recommend it. So uh, again, I will leave everything in the description. And uh, hopefully, if you have never tried a Raspberry Pi, I recommend you try one. So uh, this is it for this video. Just wanted to do a quick rundown because I thought this article is very helpful and certainly helped me. So I wanted to share with you. Uh, I will leave this one here and just wanted to make a quick video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.